Yo, what's going on guys? It's LPG Gaming and we're back with another Minecraft video and today is the second part of the Mountainside Mega Mansion. Now, we've already gone through the whole mansion and what I did not mention in the first episode was the mansion interior was really bad. I didn't really put a lot of effort into it. I did mean to put no effort into the interior because what's coming up in the next minute is incredible so make sure you stick around to the end because it is going to be worth it really if you thought the last episode of this mega mansion was really bad it might have been honestly i'm not sure it's up to you guys and what you liked of it i have like a few likes on the video so i'm glad so if we get 10 likes to this video i know you guys are enjoying the minecraft videos and if we get below 10 then i might go back to like fortnite or like try some new games but if we're past 10 or on 10, I'm going to be posting the third part of the Mansion Island series. I don't know if you guys like that one, especially people that I talk to and watch, that watch my videos. So please subscribe, leave a like. You can also follow me on Twitch at LPG underscore gaming YT to see live action of me playing Fortnite with my friends or me playing Minecraft around noonish with one of my friends. And Minecraft survival is really crazy. Right now we're building houses and stuff in my SMP. So you're really gonna wanna join that. So we'll get into the video. All right guys, last episode we were looking at this fireplace right here when I fell right between these floors. So right now there's absolutely nothing. And you can kind of guess that there's something there because this is carpet here. This brown stuff, that is the floor and this is carpet. And that's why there's no carpet here because it would get destroyed every time. Unless I was good enough to put like something that, that could replace the carpet. That'd be pretty cool, but I really don't think that could happen. But we'll just get on with the video. If you press the middle button, you will go through a floor. See, if you press the side or this side, you won't do anything. Press this one, light opens up, and go right to the floor. And there's bouncy pads right here. This is basically a trampoline. And these are called slime blocks for those people that don't know Minecraft. Those really like bounce you up so you don't take any fall damage because there is fall damage in this game. Obviously not creative, but in this, in survival there is. So as you come up the ladder, this is just a little entrance point. You can either go that way or this way, which we will right now. I won't go up, but I'll just show you. So this is a water elevator, which is really cool. I'm not that advanced for an, an actual elevator. I'm trying to work on stuff like that. But a water elevator is kind of cool. And it's a lot easier to build. So the soul sand is pushing you up. And if you switch this button, the magma block will pop out. And that will pull you down for those people coming from the top down. I will also show you at the end of the video where this leads to. So let's move on and hop on over here. We just got a little nice decorations lighting right here. And we got gardening on both sides. We will check that out right in a minute. So this is the big bunker. This took a while. The house, you might have thought that took a while. Nah. This is the big boy okay this took forever honestly like look how much building is going on here so right off the hop here we got this beacon right here that can light up the world so it'll disappear in a few seconds takes a while yeah there it goes and then you can turn it on to kind of like illuminate the room kind of and make it look a lot cooler so see it just went on right now and then you can either go left or right and you can check out these cool lounges. They're basically twin lounges, so that means they're identical. And even the gardening in here is identical. It's a little bit like a texture to the place, you know? Same thing on this side. The exact same lounge for both sides, as I said. We got nice paintings and wallpapers. And the only thing that is not identical to the other side is that we can go straight over here. And over here is just all pink wall. We'll come over here and start off this big bunker, which might take a while. So sit tight, it's gonna be a good one, trust me. So over here, we have a massive swimming pool. You could honestly think this is an Olympic uh, swimming pool, 
like races and stuff you got two diving boards over here two different heights it's a big dome with lots of lighting and stuff all around so this is the taller diving board it's obviously not like bouncy or anything i could have made it but like i don't know it doesn't look good and that's the smaller one right there we can go in and dive right in even swimming pretty cool pretty cool and come on out of there so this is gonna be it for the pool this is a very cool area a very big area and also i wanted to mention that this is supposed to be a garage obviously a garage closes up and down by the press of a button i'm not that advanced as i said at the beginning of this episode so bear with me just pretend this is opening and closing and these are kind of like little segments of the bunker like they're little parts that i made just makes it a little bit different you know so right now we are coming to the middle of this whole bunker so this is a big 360 right around and in the middle here we obviously got this big globe kind of looks like there's like money symbols or like the dollar symbol on it kind of cool obviously the ocean surrounds the earth more you got a little bit of land and you're wondering what is all this water around so I did have an automatic farming system, but it did not work out. So uh, when you press this button right here, this lever, sorry, this was supposed to like take away the water and then you press it again and it's supposed to fill up the water and take away all the crops and stuff. Because for some reason in Minecraft, water destroys all the crops and replaces it. But in my world, it did not work. So just 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 pretend there's crops there and it's actually really cool but sadly it's not working so this is the front over here we can come on to the left or we can go to the right which I will go to the right so the first the second segment that we have here is kind of like the kitchen area or like the cafeteria if you want to because it's kind of like two tables and then two different parcel areas and then over here is the kitchen we got a bunch of stoves all around ovens and stoves we got a fridge right there we got storage right here we got a cool environment like a heat environment because we got lava and stuff kind of like cooking everything and then over here we just got like shelving obviously counter space with cups for the bar again cups for the bar and more counter space more counter space and shelving space and obviously i said storage over here that's gonna be it for the kitchen one last look we also got like a snowy biome so we'll move on again we got the garage door pretend it's closing up and down it's actually really cool if it would but you know and then over here we got biomes that we can walk through so this is the Tyaga biome and we can come up these stairs into the massive tennis court area you can have big tournaments here because it is I guess you could say it's a full-size tennis court and full regulation tennis court kind of I got a nice lighting all around. It is a big dome just like the swimming pool and stuff. We obviously got the stadium seats all the way around this whole tennis court. And obviously the benches for the players and refs. And I'm not really sure what tennis is, but yeah, stuff like that, you know. And again, the garage door pretend it closes. And all the way around each little segment, we have chairs and lounges that just you can take a seat as you're walking so far and yeah it's, it's a far place honestly so again we got the biomes on each side and over here is another biome called well this is not really a biome in minecraft this is basically another world this is the nether world so we kind of got like the nether fortress bridge kind of like broken across the nether fortress right there and just like nether rack blocks which is these red things for those people that don't know minecraft and obviously the nether fortress, I really like how I added all the nether rack because like shows it's like pulling you into the portal area too. And also added ice so when you stop you kind of like slide. It's like a feeling that this portal is like pulling you in. It's kind of cool. But we can go check out the nether world. There's nothing really there. I might build them for like another episode or something. So this is it. I could have built like a room or something to protect this portal. Because it could get destroyed for those people that do know Minecraft. Um, their portals could have been destroyed many times. 
we can come back on in and go back to the secret bunker. Alright, uh, that's it for the nether room. Very cool room, kind of like a lot of lava, red blocks, which the nether is mostly red, which is really cool. Moving on, we can continue right onto the next little area, segment, whatever you want to call it. So right here, you can go straight. This is my favorite out of all of them. So there, I didn't buy mods, like which is basically a resource pack, and mods come inside with it, and you can make like cards and stuff. I didn't buy it, just like, it's kind of a waste at times. Doesn't really make a difference. So just pretend there's cars there. This is a big garage where these things can go up or down. It's like a multi garage in like each spot. I think it's pretty cool. So that's a lot of cars you can hold. And then you can come out of this bunker by going, or you can come in or out through these gates and all the way over here. Now this is a long tunnel. So I'll meet you on the other side. All right guys, we are finally outside. So this is kind of secret. It's kind of obvious too if you're walking by it. There's not really any gates to open up. Well, there is, like you see those little holes there. The garage is supposed to close down as I've said many times, but again, not that advanced. So you can see in the distance, the little village there. I showed that in part one, um, the village there and the driveway where it like cuts off that's where the village begins so right over there you can see the driveway for the mega mountain house and i'll see you guys back inside the garage because this is a long tunnel all right guys we are just coming out of the garage area where we can keep all our luxurious cars and stuff and we just have more biomes and decorations going through over here and we can go to this other room where this is the end world kind of segment here. You can see all the end cities and stuff. So for those people that don't don't know Minecraft, I'm going to explain what this segment is. So over here is this is called the end portal. And this portal will bring you to the world where you can complete the game and win the game or whatever you want to say it. So the last one that we looked at, the nether world, that one you have to go in, find the nether fortress, get a few like um, ingredients to make these eyes right here where my crosshair is. These eyes right here, you get to place them all around the portal and then you can jump in. This thing is really tripping me out so I'm going to stop looking at it. And all these blocks are just what's inside the world. You'll never find this in the regular Minecraft world. So I just put them here because it's a cool decoration. And also there's ice on this thing. So you're sliding into the portal basically. It's just a cool another feature. So that's going to be it for this segment. I'm going to explain what the portal is for. I don't want to go too in depth on the explanation because Minecraft kind of takes a while. But it doesn't, it doesn't really honestly, people complete the game in like 20 minutes. So yeah, that's weird. Some people are not normal, honestly. It's weird. Alright, on to the next segment. We got the basketball court. And this is basically like Jarrett's mansion. I'm pretty sure he has a basketball court in his basement. Not sure how big his basement is. But I'm pretty sure I've heard like news things. And I've watched many videos that show the basketball court in his mansion in Toronto. That is newly built, I think. Like a year or two now. But yeah, so this is, the, this is the basketball court. Obviously, the stadium seats all the way around. We obviously got the jumbo screen right here with a little bit of pictures for the screen, however you want to call it. And I could have done a little better on the nets because I'm pretty sure in the NBA nets, they have like scores or the shot clock timer right on there with the glasses. And yeah, but I think it looks kind of cool right now. We obviously got the three-point line the free throw line center court here and it's obviously a dome with lots of lights so you can see the game and stuff and that's gonna be it for this little segment area room whatever you want to call it and we can move on to the last one and then the video will be over sadly but again if we get 10 likes the will be mansion island part two so over here this is like the corridor for all the bedrooms and area because you have not seen any bedrooms in this bunker. 
but you did see bedrooms on the second floor of the mega mansion and that was just there's like five bedrooms in there i think and once you get to the bottom of this bunker i'm pretty sure you don't want to travel all the way up again to just to go to bed so that's why it's convenient and we have bedrooms right here now they're all the same so i will only be showing you two or three of them but yeah here we go so it's an ultra modern white and a little bit of blue bedroom so we got a little nice waterfall kind of thing in there got lights with a table we got our railing for this dropped floor into like a little tv room there's obviously no tv but you can put one if you need to obviously the table the couch wrapping around like an elf couch and then we got the little just the painting and counter space here with planters on both sides just for decoration and then here's like the main work area you can do like work on your computer you have nice pictures behind you it's nice decorations right here nice chair as well and this is the bed most important getting your nice rest after walking around this whole bunker honestly it's too big honestly man we also have couches on the outside just for a lounge area and decorations with these planters all right guys we just finished the first room the second room and the third and fourth just the exact same setup colors everything just flip all the furniture and stuff um not a lot of change all right guys i will meet you at the start of the bunker all right guys did i say the video was over yes is it no follow me all right guys so this is the entrance where we came through we'll go through the elevator this time we'll switch it to soul sand that will push us up it's actually not that slow honestly we'll just speed it up because honestly this video might be a while I'm not sure yet, but I'll see through the editing. Hopefully my editor will make it quick, you know, make it look good. All right, we're above the elevator. So this is how you go down and stuff. You can obviously go down, but we won't show you. We are currently in the backyard of this huge mansion. There's not really a backyard because it's just a mountainside. So you just fall right off the mountain, sadly. So right here is the door to go in. And when you walk in, it's just some lights or blocks or whatever you want to call it for those advanced people i know i would say maybe like two of my friends would know what's going to happen next year so as you walk forward this opens up and closes right behind you and that's it you'll never know that there's a secret bunker again so if you come over here there's nothing here i'll show you what it looks like when you click the button opens up and then closes up quickly so that anyone following you or anyone close by will not see you coming or gone thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please drop a like because if we get 10 likes we're dropping the third episode of the mansion island series and just most importantly subscribe because we're on the way to a thousand subscribers i can't believe this is actually happening we're at 608 currently it is pretty crazy um, go follow my Twitch channel. We're making it to 100 followers soon. We're at like 70. It's growing pretty quickly. Make sure you join my live streams. Uh, link in the description below if you want to see live action, of course. So thank you again. Please subscribe, leave a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hellcat.